Hi there everybody, this is Tim from Full Spectrum Laser. Today I'm going to talk about our new Pro Series Autofocus nose cone, and we'll also go over installation. Our current Pro Series Autofocus system uses a pressure sensor that is off to the side. It works well and gives you an accurate focus, but it can be difficult to focus to smaller pieces. It can also get hung up on material if it's not flat on the bed. Our new autofocus system is built straight into the nose cone. To swap out your autofocus system, you'll need a few things first. A Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of cutting pliers, and some zip ties. Let's get started. First, remove the current zip ties holding the autofocus wire in place. Be careful not to cut the wire or the air hose. Next, unplug the autofocus wire. Make sure the bed is low enough and use the thumb screws to loosen the nose cone. Pull the nose cone down and out of the laser head. Remove the air hose and unscrew the air hose adapter from the nose cone. Unscrew the nose cone. Be careful as your lens is now exposed. Grab your screwdriver and loosen the clear plastic screws so you can remove the pressure sensor assembly. Take your new nose cone and screw it on. For the PS36 and 48, you'll need an adapter for your air hose. This should be included with your laser. It looks like this. We just need the hose part. Attach the hose to the air hose adapter. Now slide that air hose into the larger one from earlier. Be sure to test the length of the original air hose as it may need to be cut shorter so as not to crimp. Once the air hose is attached, you can slide the nose cone up into the laser head using the thumb screws to tighten it into place. Next, plug in your autofocus wire. Now you can take your zip ties and secure your wire and air hose in place. Your new autofocus is plug and play, so once it's plugged in, you'll be good to go. Here's the same process on the PS24. The air hose assembly is a bit different here, but the rest of the process is the same.
When securing your wires with zip ties, be sure the wire is out of the way of the laser. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep making.